I'm Ian Bushu, band members. Today is Wednesday, January 5th. Welcome to 2022. I hope everyone enjoyed some time off with family and friends over the holidays and are ready to start the new year safely. If you are celebrating a birthday this month, I want to wish you a happy birthday. Millax band member cases, District 1 and District 2A, we are now at 236 new cases. District 2, 54, no new cases. District 3, 71 new case. Health and Human Services Commissioner Nicole Anderson reissued the mask mandate for all Millax band facilities, buildings, and band owned businesses. The commissioner's order went into effect on Saturday, January 1st, and will stay in effect until January 31st, 2022. Governor Walls says coronavirus cases due to the fast spreading Omicron variant likely will race through Minnesota schools in the next few weeks. Walls said that modeling by the Mayo Clinic predicts a spike peaking around the third week of January. Here is some alarming news. According to a publication from 24-7 Wall Street, the Minneapolis-St. Paul Bloomington metropolitan area is reported as being above the national average of COVID-19 cases. A total of 628, 764 COVID-19 cases have been reported to date. Adjusted for population, there have been 17,674 reported infections for every 100,000 people in the area. This is above the national rate of 16,200 cases per 100,000 people. The higher than average per capita COVID-19 infection rate across Minnesota is being driven by a very high concentration of the virus in one area in particular. And guess what? That is the Mille Lacs County. And that's pretty sad that the highest concentration is here in Mille Lacs County. Mille Lacs County has the most COVID-19 cases per capita in the state of Minnesota. So far, there has been a total of 5,794 infections in Mille Lacs County, or 22,520 for every 100,000 people. And if you note that when we talk about Minneapolis area, that number was 17,674, and Mille Lacs County is 22,520. So we are very high in Mille Lacs County. Not only does Mille Lacs County have the most COVID infections per capita in the Minneapolis area, it has the most deaths attributed to the virus per capita than the metro area as a whole. There's been a total of 358 coronavirus deaths for every 100,000 people in Mille Lacs County, compared to 174 COVID-19 deaths per 100,000 across the entire St. Paul, Bloomington metro area. So again, it's very important. Please be diligent about wearing a mask in public spaces, even if you are vaccinated. And of course, if you're not vaccinated, please consider getting the vaccine. Anji Bamadizing has released the new updated training courses catalog for January. There's a lot of information, and if you're interested on any of these listed, please call Karen at 320-362-4139. And of course, the link is always on Facebook, which includes the full course catalog. So here are some of the courses. The Homeowners Assistance Fund, Pandemic Emergency Assistance Funds, COVID Emergency Rental Assistance, 
classes offered at Pine Tech and Community College, adult basic education, career readiness, job skills, financial skills for families, wellness, American Red Cross, CPR, first aid, AED, NORCAM training, weaving the understanding of ACEs, historical trauma and resilience for healing in indigenous communities, weaving resilience, mending broken hearts, parenting, fatherhood and motherhood is sacred. And there are more. So again, please look at the full course catalog on Facebook. There is a request from our public works department and because of the heavy snows that there are some of your solid waste cans that are being buried in the snow banks and it makes it difficult for our public works staff to get your cans and this also creates a safety concern for the drivers. So please, if your can is stuck in the snow, please dig them out. This will help keep the drivers on schedule to ensure that all trash is collected in a timely manner. As a reminder that I've been mentioning just about in every video recently, the State of the Band will be a virtual event again this year on January 11th, 2022. You will be able to find the links to sign up for the virtual event on the band website. The State of the Band virtual event will start 10 a.m. on Tuesday, January 11th. You will be able to sign in for the meeting beginning at about 9.30. But remember, the State of the Band will not be Again, until 10 a.m. There will be a year in review slideshow for you to view prior to the actual event. I hope that you will be able to join us virtually for the annual State of the Band address January 11th at 10 a.m. With that, I'd like to say good day and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.